The following video is sponsored by InstantMaddenCoins.com. The only place to get Madden Coins instantly on every console and platform is InstantMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on, guys? Clickwood here back with another Madden 17 Draft Champions video. And, guys, we're going to be playing a game today against a guy who has Dak Prescott as his quarterback. And that's kind of the topic of today's video. So, last night, and I'm making this video on Monday, last night was the second loss of the season for the Dallas Cowboys, my Dallas Cowboys, our Dallas Cowboys, right? I mean, this is America's team, ladies and gentlemen. But this was the second loss of the season that this team has suffered. Both of the losses came at the hands of the New York Giants. And in both games, rookie quarterback Des Dak Prescott looked pretty bad, to be completely honest with you. The, the first game wasn't as bad as the second game, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, he made a great play action fake. Uh, the fake toss to Ezekiel Elliott and then the pass over the middle to a wide open Terrence Williams. I mean, the pass part really wasn't that impressive. I mean, literally, I could have made that throw. But the fake was very, very good. Um, Zeke sold it really well, obviously, as well. Zeke is just a monster. I mean, right now, I think Ezekiel Elliott is probably the, the top candidate for MVP. Correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, maybe somebody else can, you know, shed some light on somebody else who deserves it. Maybe Aaron Rodgers. Maybe I've heard other people talk about uh, Derek Carr, Tom Brady, you know, those guys. But I think Ezekiel Elliott is probably the guy right now. But my point that I'm making here is, is the conversation has now shifted after Dak Prescott had a bad game last night that a lot of people are talking about that the Cowboys should go to Tony Romo. Now... I want to preface this whole conversation with my point that I made when this whole thing started. So Dak Prescott, I, I'll be honest with you guys. I didn't know anything about him when he came to the Cowboys. I had never seen him play in college. Uh, the only thing that I knew was that this guy was an extremely raw player. He didn't have a, a, what you would consider to be like prototypical NFL tools, right? And so when he started the regular season, I wasn't expecting much. I mean, I was expecting basically mediocre quarterback play. Maybe he'll do good enough that we can go, you know, nine and seven and potentially sneak into the playoffs. I had no idea that the Cowboys would start the season off as, as hot as they did. Now, again, granted, they lost the first game of the season to the Giants. So when that happened, I was like, yeah, well, I mean, that's kind of the team that I think we are. We're a team that's going to lose to the Giants. <laughs> that's just going to happen. But the reality ended up being that Dak Prescott was pretty damn good. I mean, this guy was taking care of the football throughout the regular season. And the conversation then became, how do you bench Dak Prescott? This guy has been doing it all. The Cowboys are winning games, and uh, the passing game looks pretty good. Cole Beasley's coming into his own. Jason Witten's having a great season. Des Bryant's making big plays. Now, Des, of course, has been inconsistent. He's had some injuries and things like that. But people were talking about Dak Prescott as being, obviously, the quarterback of the future, which I still think everybody would say that Dak Prescott's the quarterback of the future for this team. The question now, though, is, is he the quarterback of the present? For the Dallas Cowboys because after last night's game I think there's a serious case to be made that Dak Prescott was the reason that the, the main reason obviously you don't blame the whole game on one player I, I hate when people do that but he was one of the main reasons that the Cowboys lost that game last night he was inaccurate he did not look good under pressure and what, what was a little bit interesting too is that the pressure that the Giants were getting was on a lot of three player rushes so they were dropping eight guys into coverage or seven guys into coverage very, very often. And what's really interesting is that Dak had actually done pretty well when opposing teams would blitz at him. So the Giants might have seen that coming and they decided that they were going to test him and make him make reads, which he appeared not to be capable of doing. And, and when he was trying to make the reads, the passes were inaccurate as well. So people were are obviously jumping on the train you know I, the whole NFL community uh, other than Cowboys fans was waiting for the Cowboys to lose so that the fans could talk smack to the Cowboys you know the Cowboys had the best record in the league and uh, obviously they're still the top seed in the NFC right now but people were waiting for a time when they could start to talk trash so that time has finally come congratulations everybody I hope you're happy but Dak Prescott did not play a great game 
And so people are talking about that the Cowboys should go back to Tony Romo. Now, I think it's funny because I was one of the people who was saying when this whole thing started that I didn't trust Dak Prescott. At the beginning of the season, we lost that first game to the Giants. And I say we, I hate when people do that. But the Cowboys lost that first game to the Giants. And it was brutal, man. It was brutal to watch. And I, I just I couldn't help but think that... Tony Romo could have been the difference in that game. Uh, no, obviously he wasn't going to make it so that Terrence Williams fell down uh, or you know went out of bounds instead of falling down in, in, inside the um, opposing team's uh, no, not the red zone, but you know in field goal range anyway, potential field goal range. But he could have throughout the game made the plays to make it so that it didn't come down to that. I guess is what I'm getting at. So I early in the season when Romo finally got healthy, I shouldn't say early, midway through the season when Romo was finally healthy, despite the fact that the Cowboys were winning every game, basically. I mean, they were on a huge hot streak at that point. I think they had won seven straight at that point. I was still saying that I think I would go with Tony Romo. And I'll be honest with you guys. Right now, if you ask me who do I think gives the Cowboys the best chance of winning the Super Bowl this season, I think it's Tony Romo. And that's not to say that I don't think Dak Prescott is good. Now, what I am going to say is that despite the fact that I think Tony Romo gives the Cowboys the best chance of winning the Super Bowl, I actually think that they should stick with Dak Prescott. They've made their bed on this situation. When they made the decision to put in Dak Prescott at quarterback and leave Tony Romo on the bench when he was healthy, you've made that decision. It's over. You don't go back and forth now at this point. You have to stick with the guy who you hitched your horse and uh, your wagon to. You have to stick to him. So uh, my personal opinion right now is I think the Cowboys need to stick with Dak Prescott unless something monumentally terrible happens. If he looks as bad going forward as he did last night, then maybe you have to make the decision to, to make the change to Romo. But I don't think that's going to happen. And, and I certainly don't think that you can make the case right now to bench Dak based on one game poor performance. Now, I will say he didn't play well against the Vikings for the most part. He, he made some bad plays in that game as well. But it wasn't as bad as last night's Giants game. And it was good enough that the Cowboys still got the win against the Vikings. So I don't think you can bench him right now based on one loss. And, and yeah, it was not a great loss. But the game was still, it was still close. There was not a blowout. The Giants didn't come out and kick the crap out of them. By the way, the defense stepped the hell up, man. I'm a team, or I'm a person that's been saying that the Cowboys defense is terrible for a long, long time. So it was great for me to see them actually make some plays and, and uh, basically be the reason that the Cowboys were in that game, which is very, very surprising. Them and Ezekiel Elliott, the offensive line, obviously making great blocks. They were the reason that the Cowboys were still in that game last night, despite Dak Prescott playing poorly. So I want to hear from you guys in the comments section below. Do you guys agree with me? Is Dak Prescott the guy who you stick with as the Cowboys quarterback this year, even if you believe that Tony Romo is the better guy? Uh, for the long term, not pissing off the rest of the team, not completely throwing everything that you've done to, into shambles, do you believe Dak Prescott should still be the quarterback of the Cowboys going forward for the rest of the season, at least for the time being? I think so. I need you guys to let me know in the comments section below. What do you think? Is it Dak? Is it Romo? And let me know why you believe that. Whether you're a Cowboys fan or not, what do you think the Cowboys should do? And yeah, before you jump on it, I realize Tony Romo doesn't have the greatest playoff record, so let's not get into that. This is a conversation about individual players and their skill sets. Is Tony Romo better equipped to bring the Cowboys to the Super Bowl? And because of that, should he take over again the starting back, uh, starting quarterback role in Dallas? Or do you stick with the hot rookie who has led you right now to the top seed in the NFC if things ended right now? Now, obviously, the Cowboys still have to win another game to lock that up, but I think you got to stick with that. So again, guys, let me know in the comment section below what do you think. Thanks again for watching the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please do me a favor. Drop a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And I will talk to you guys again soon.